Hello, welcome to Time Master. In this video, I'm going to talk about the 2.2 and 2.3 updates for the invoice module. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is some new items in the setup. So we're going to go into the invoicing. And what we've added here is we've added a tax label and an alternate tax label. So if in your country you use a word other than tax, for example, that in Europe, you can change that here. Um, also, these fields must have something in them. Um, but they will not print on an invoice if you have no taxes on your invoice. Okay, we've also added meta characters or meta strings to the email subject in the email message body. And if you look in the manual, you'll be able to see the terms that we use. But for example, in this, uh, we have Encore Invoice and we have Square Bracket. And Invoice must be in uppercase, all the words are capitalized and it is case sensitive and that will substitute in the invoice number on the subject line of the email and the same for the uh, email message body you can put certain uh, things in there too okay in the database for the clients we've also added a CC and BCC email address so that when you email an invoice it can also be CC'd to uh, say like an accounting department and you can also BCC it to uh, yourself or someone else. Okay, um, I want to note that in the reports now uh, we've also added a filter for the uh, invoiced so if you only want to report on items that haven't been invoiced you can set this to no and then when you run a report it will only show you the non-invoiced items okay so now what I want to show you is the dual taxes that we have on here so if we look at this expense we can see it's a hundred dollars it's a nice easy example here you can see that the total is 113 and if we multiply seven times a hundred and six times a hundred we get seven dollars and six dollars which equals 113 now in Canada they have a system where it's a cumulative tax so one tax is applied and then the second tax is applied to that total so you can see in this example that our new total is 113.42 for the cumulative tax. Okay. Also note that we have uh, also a markup now. So if you instead of discounting an invoice, say that you wanted to charge another 10% or another $10 or whatever on the invoice um, due to overages on the invoice or something. Uh, client requested other things or made too many changes you can also do a markup now um, also discounts and um, deposits and tax labels will not show up on invoices if they're not used so that will keep the invoice looking cleaner okay so now if we go in we can take a look at that invoice If we go down here, we can see that we no longer have the discount and the deposit labels on here. We only have the taxes. The last thing I want to mention on here is for expenses. Um, in the expenses, we have something called the reimbursable flag attribute. And if it's checked, that will allow you to add it to an invoice either manually or through the auto invoice. If you don't want it to be able to show up on an invoice, uncheck this field and that will prevent it from showing up on there. So say that you wanted to track an expense but you don't want to bill the client for it, just uncheck the reimbursable flag. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the invoice module. Thanks for watching.